Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm diving into the newest Grace and Gratitude devotional kit from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. This is kit number three. I will link it down below for you guys. Kit one and two are sold out, I believe, but you can still get uh, this kit here. I am working in the Illustrating Bible, which is also sold out. It will be back in February, and I know some of us are waiting until... January 1st to dive into this kit, but I decided to go ahead and get started. I put away all my Christmas goodies, and so I wanted to just dive in and have some fun. So um, I'm st starting with the Forever devotional that's in this kit. Um, I'll link my unboxing video down below for you guys so you can see how I arranged these in a certain order to match the Grace and Gratitude journal book. So I'll link that down below. But uh, I decided to create my title using some lettering with watercolor and some of the die cut pieces from the kit. And so um, I really love the brush lettered look of the stamp set. And that's um, lettering done by Katie. Uh, she's done a lot of lettering for Illustrated Faith. Um, but there wasn't any stamp or anything that said forever in that font. So I decided to go ahead and just wing it and try to recreate it myself. So I'm using a number six round paintbrush. This is just a master's touch brush from Hobby Lobby. And these watercolors, I'll link them down below. I haven't really shown them in videos and I haven't gotten to play with them very much. I do love them, and so I plan on using them um, some more in the future, but I love how rich and deep black. Um, but you could use the Kiritake Gonzai Tombi if you've got those already. And I am just slowly doing this. This has been sped up twice as fast, um, and I'm trying to put heavy pressure when I'm you know, doing a downstroke with the brush and lighter pressure on an upstroke. But if you look at the design, on the stamp set it's pretty thick pretty messy a mixture of uppercase and lowercase you can see what those are. Um, at this point I was a little unsure about it um, that font is really out of my comfort zone but at the end it all comes together and I actually really love how it came out so I did go ahead and dry that really well and now I'm gonna use some acrylic paints to recreate the little swatches that are on the devotional card over there and I don't know why I do this I keep doing acrylic paints and it never works well for me it's not fun for me it's frustrating I always mess up, but I keep trying to do it. And this was another one of those times. I looked at this and thought, oh, it's just paint swatches. It's so easy. So I picked some colors. You can see this purple wasn't right. So I'm trying to mix in some grays. Um, I'm trying to use a dry brush, so I'm not getting my brush wet. Uh, I'm just kind of wiping it off, which becomes an issue because then I've got colors mixing together. It was just a mess, but hang tight with me. We will fix it. Um, while I'm painting those on, I do want to go ahead and talk about the verse. We are journaling in 2 Corinthians 5, 1 through 2. I am working in the CSB translation. Um, the translation on the devotional card is the living translation, which says, For we know that we will have wonderful new bodies in heaven, homes that will be ours forevermore, made for us by God himself and not by human hands. That is why we look forward eagerly to the day when we shall have heavenly bodies that we shall put on like new clothes. Now, the living translation is more of a like thought for thought translation versus like literal word for word translation. So I would encourage you to read this in a couple different translations. It's a good experience um, for studying scripture and understanding and just um, thought for thought isn't necessarily bad. It makes it easier to read, um, but sometimes some of the little nuances are missed um, um, in thought by thought. So, so do some, some reading in different translations. And so this is talking about, you know, our, our hope that we have to look forward to being forever in heaven with, uh, with God. And so the, our home sweet home, our eternal home, uh, and that's what this devotional is kind of looking at. At, uh, she says, did you know your body is a tent? That's right, a tent. Tents are meant to provide short-term living space while you're away from home. And life on this earth is just that, a temporary place to live until you go to your heavenly home. Some tent stays last longer than others, but eventually each of us will pull up our stakes, collapse our poles, fold up our tent, and go home. At home, there is no sickness, no sadness, no sin, only joyful praise and worship to the almighty King of Kings. It's where angels are waiting to rejoice and welcome you to the Father. Home sweet home to the Savior, how sweet the day will be. Now, um, 
there's lots of imagery that you could do for this and I decided to kind of keep it simple with just this title um, and and leave myself plenty of room for journaling because I did want to respond to those journaling questions so I'll talk about that here in a second on screen what you saw me do was I topped off the acrylic paint with some white acrylic paint and it saved this page I was hating it before that but the white really knocked back the color and muted everything and tied all those colors together and I am so thankful white came in to save the day <laughs> um, now I'm going in with some of the stamp sets or the stamp set from this kit with this um, little like texture shape art mark or whatever um, to stamp in there I am using this licorice ink from creative retreat um, this ink is currently out of stock because there was an issue with the packaging but it will be restocked this is one of my current favorite inks it is waterproof permanent pigment ink does not bleed through your bible page permanent waterproof it's amazing um, the only downside is it's not super super intense black but that's why I'm using it for this because I wanted more of a gray stamping um, for these art marks you'll see I pull in a different ink later on um, for some other stamping but you can see in comparison to that watercolor word that I painted it's not as intense black as that is but other than that it's 100% perfect I love it so I'm just kind of stamping those shapes. Um, I've got them loaded up on a couple different blocks. That way I can quickly stamp everything down. Now I decided to go ahead and add in some washi tape. This is the grid washi from Felicity Jane. And um, there's like this dot grid pattern on the devotional card. And so I'm kind of pulling in that same idea. I wanted something to anchor down these little die cut pieces the paint swatches just weren't quite enough they still look like they were kind of just floating there so i wanted to bring in just a little more and at this point it's just taking my time to add layers mixed media like this really takes time and that's how you get better results just stepping back looking to see what more layers but leaving some white space um it's just trial and error at this point so you can see I'm swapping out the tab. I did go ahead and cut it in half. That way I get twice as many tabs. Um, I don't like to fold my tabs over. I like just having them on the one side. Still leaving myself plenty of room to do all my journaling um, down in that center section there. And so the prompt questions are, what are your life priorities for this year? People, goals, tasks. Um, knowing that life on earth is temporary, which areas of your life would you like to give up for more important things this year? So I kind of felt like those prompt questions were a little bit different than the devotional content. So I kind of struggled with that because I liked where the prompt questions were going, but I didn't really feel like it tied into the verse. And so later on, you'll see, I actually include the devotional into my entry just so I can refer back to it and kind of understand what was going on with this page because my title doesn't really match my journaling because I talk about, um, in 2019, I really want to focus more on people and sacrifice distractions and the stuff in my life so that I can spend more time um, on people, serving people, loving people, giving to people, teaching people. Um, that is what I want my focus to be in 2019. Um, and investing my time into them and hopefully bringing people to also be able to spend an eternity and forever with God. And so that's kind of my focus for 2019. And I did go ahead and journal that in that space down there you can see i did go back and add some watercolor splashes to this page watercolor ink splashes always pull things together for me and this was another one of those moments with that big bold thick title um i felt like it needed to be kind of messy so i added that in and now i'm taking the highlighter washi from illustrated faith and just highlighting the verse i am struggling a little bit because i'm trying to compare um the CSB translation to the translation that's on the devotional content and this particular Bible, the way the verses are marked, it's kind of difficult. So I was having to really read it and, and pay attention, which is not a bad thing because it made me really pay more attention to the verses that we were working on there. Uh, here before I put my journaling down, I am going to take the some more stamps from the set. It says 2019 and this year. And I think as I work through this kit, I'm going to have this be my kind of continuity piece through my entries so it'll be this little 2019 this year cluster right before my um 
journaling. So at this point, this is where I decided to go ahead and add in the devotional. It is printed on just regular copy paper, so it's not going to add a lot of bulk to my Bible page, um, or to my Bible, I should say. And so I am going to reinforce the edge with some washi tape because it's just plain copy paper. I do want to make sure that it stands up to being, you know, flipped through in my Bible. And this is a nice thing about this coil bound is I can easily insert things that can be removed and moved around and things like that. If you don't have this Bible, don't worry. Um, you can still insert tip ins just by adding, you know, a piece of washi tape or double sided adhesive and sticking it into the center gutter of your Bible. So you can add it that way as well. So I did add tape to both sides. And then this is the planner punch board. I've showed this a few times on my channel. Um, this is from We Are Memory Keepers. I will link it down below. And then I have the spiral punch, the gold spiral punch. This is a separate set of punches that you can buy for this. And I'm just lining it up and punching this. And this is the one that's perfectly spaced for the coil in this Bible. So uh, I have a couple videos. I'll try to find them and link them down below showing in more detail uh, how that works. So now you can see I can just go ahead and press that right in. And now I've got the devotional content right there next to my journaling. Uh, I think this is how I'm going to do it for the rest of this kit. Rather than making a mini book or a traveler's notebook, something like that, I'm just going to insert the devotionals directly into my Bible. Uh, I'm not sure that I will do that for every one of them, but I will for this one. So that is it for the entry today. Be sure to check out the description box down below for links to everything that I mentioned. Leave me any questions or comments that you might have down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.